Ah, Extreme Snowboarders, how are you doing today? This is a new episode of The Old 52, and it's brought to you by my comic book series, I Write and Create, Red Knight. Issue 7 is available right now, it's starting that uh, story arc, uh, Hero Today, Gone Tomorrow, and October we'll see Issue 8. Sorry, the issue is late, by the way. Uh, keep watching these videos for more updates, as well as the Red Knight Facebook page. Now, let's get to some uh, comic books. Old 52 is essentially the first issues of Defunct series that I want to talk about that I think uh, you should pay attention to. And uh, we're going all the way back to 1996, uh, which I still keep having to correct myself is not 10 years ago. Uh, it is Terry Moore's Strangers in Paradise number one. Now, there's actually three Strangers in Paradise, number one. Uh, there is a uh, miniseries he did a couple of years ago, uh, which turned out to be successful. It was a four-issue miniseries. So we started an ongoing. Uh, now, that series lasted around, if I'm not mistaken, 12, 13, 15 issues. Uh, but he made a deal with Jim Lee's Homage Comics uh, to come over, because what Jim Lee was doing was looking for some uh, more independent creators, uh, rather than the standard, like, extreme-style artists that were uh, engulfing uh, the early 90s. Uh, and these were kind of the early steps of what, uh, you know, we see Image as today, really. Uh, and Strangers in Paradise was one of them. Now, they renumbered the book, uh, starting with this. Now, if uh, you've ever read uh, an issue of Strangers in Paradise, you'll realize that maybe a problem was the fact that Strangers in Paradise was a black and white book uh, written and drawn by Terry Moore. And uh, Jim Lee doesn't do black and white stuff. So uh, this series was the first time it was in color. And there's a Wizard of Oz styled uh, transition where uh, the first scene is actually a dream. Um, uh, actually, wait, maybe I should explain a couple things about Strangers in Paradise. Strangers in Paradise is about Fran two friends, Francine and uh, Kachu, the blonde, uh, and their uh, daily struggles to get through life, um, where things are either funny or really dramatic or even suspenseful or cray-cray, you know, whatever you want to uh, use. And uh, let's see, they're best friends, uh, but uh, Kachu actually is uh, deeply attracted to Francine, uh, but Francine has her other things going on, so uh, and and to make matters worse, there are people uh, like uh, uh, a young suitor named David who is in love with uh, Kachu. So uh, you know, just goes and forth from there. Uh, but it never does feel soap opery. Uh, it and I think that's uh, accredited to the really mature, thoughtful, and funny, engaging writing uh, by Terry Moore. And this was the beginning of the homage uh, period. And so. Uh, the series starts out with a dream. Uh, Francine apparently dreams in black and white because uh, she's dreaming she is a Superman-like superhero. Uh, and in bursts in some Jim Lee-style uh, heroes or villains or whatever the heck Jim Lee draws. Uh, and a very, very uh, Nick Fury-style version of Kachu. Uh, uh, then she wakes up from this dream, and it's color. <laughs> color. And, okay, uh, something else shocking. Uh, the book is a, has jumped about ten or so years in the future. Uh, Francine has uh, gotten married and has a child. Uh, which, uh, for readers of the series, that's quite a jolt. And uh, to do it in that kind of transition from black and white to color was was quite uh, a great idea, actually. Uh, in, uh, let's see, meeting a friend for uh, lunch, she runs into uh, an old kind of hanger-outer uh, named Ashley, who informs her that, hey, uh, you guys, you and Kachu still hanging out? I just saw her in the lobby. She hasn't seen Kachu for about 10 years, so she rushes out uh, to uh, the lobby and then outside where she thinks she sees her from the back. Then we flash back to the present, and that's where the series gets going. Um, so this is kind of a big... Uh, this was a really like engaging, smart, uh, exciting, and potentially dangerous way 
uh, of starting this new series because I mean Terry Moore could have written himself into a corner, uh, but he wrote it in a in a loose way to really whet your appetite of what's going to go on with the friends. And actually, we jump back to the present and. It's basically from there, uh, just intro reintroducing us to the characters, uh, them goofing around in their house uh, while being spied upon by uh, uh, Phoebe and while well, Lewis isn't uh, uh, spying. Uh, Phoebe is kind of a Gladys Kravitz kind of character, except she's not spying on people who are witches. She's just spying on people because she's a fucking asshole. Um, and it kind of uh, ends there, uh, just kind of reintroducing us to the characters and getting it, uh, them uh, reestablished. Uh, what's interesting was, uh, I'm not sure what the details are, but Terry Moore uh, wasn't completely satisfied with working with Homage Comics, so after about a year or two, he went back to uh, self-publishing the book under his own imprint. Uh, but this is still part of the... Uh, ultimate collection of trades. Uh, you can get all these issues and a huge number, I, I think it's six or seven trades that collects the entire series. Uh, and they're really nicely done. Uh, if not, you know, just picking up issues like this, uh, these aren't too expensive if you can find them. Uh, Strangers in Paradise, oh, back issues of Strangers in Paradise can be a little harder to find than back issues of, I don't know, Daredevil or something like that. But they're worth your uh, time. But uh, if you don't feel like doing a huge scavenger hunt, uh, the trades, I think, are always uh, published, and you can always uh, find them at your better comic book stores or Barnes & Noble or just Amazon. I think the Internet is a good place to check. I don't know. But I think that's it for now. Check it out. Uh, and it's Strange in Paradise number one from 1996, but I do recommend going back and starting with the original miniseries and just going on through, really. Uh, that's it for now, so push the button, let's